Can a stand-up comedian cook better than us? Sure hope not. Every home cook has that one dish they are more confident in than any other. That one dish that they know can truly compete with the pros. Or can it? Today, one imposter chef takes on two very professional, mythical chefs to see if they got what it takes to run in the kitchen. So everybody, please welcome today's competitor, Trevor Wallace! Woo! There he goes. There he is. Yes. Trevor, you are one of the funniest people on the planet, true or false? Thank true, yes. <laughs> I didn't know why I did you answer. I'm yeah, sorry, that was weird. You got a new special, Pterodactyl out on Amazon Prime Video. Everybody Prime go check video. it out. But can you cook? No. Fantastic, <laughs> dude. Get out of here. Let's get a new one. No, I can't. But only breakfast. Like a breakfast sandwich, that's my lane. I cook like a stepdad on a Saturday. I'm ready, you know? I want that joint custody back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm winning my son back. It's not even my son, it's hers, but. I don't have a kid. Yeah, that's how, no, I mean, <laughs> listen, he tries his best. He's emotionally supportive. Sometimes he's rough around the edges, sure, you know, but he cares, he cares. Yes. Um, I'm really stoked on that because I love breakfast sandwiches too. You love breakfast sandwiches? I love breakfast sandwiches. I think it's gonna be a great battle day, both in the kitchen and for the love of your son. I want to throw my hat in the I ring. Have one. Yeah. Let me provide. You can be my son. Yeah? I mean that in a very- Dad? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's, you know, we, I didn't grow up with a lot of physical touch, so that was- That's fine. I don't know if I've ever met another Trevor. Really? That's awesome. I don't like my name, so it's weird hearing it, you know? Oh. <laughs> Trevor. Like, that means you don't like my name. <laughs> All of our dishes are going to be judged blind by our special guest judge, and they're gonna see if they can catch the imposter chef. <laughs> imposter chef, me, Trevor, Trevor Wallace, there's a lot at stake, okay? Cause I gotta prove not only that I'm not an imposter, but also that I'm a better Trevor. That's what's at stake here. So no fooling around. I know you think it'd be, you're like, Trevor, that's the funny guy. He's a silly goofball. He's what, what, a, what a wise, you know, he's making wise cracks. He's making jokes. You know, he's just generally a goofball. None of that. Serious today. I got pork. It's a ground. I'm making sausage. Sausage is a breakfast food. Pinch of red pepper flakes going in there. I'm just gonna name all these ingredients while I'm talking. So we got pinch of red pepper flakes. We got all spice going in there. This is a warm spice breakfast sausage, warm spice. We got a little bit of grated garlic. It's gonna give it a nice flavor. And then we got some sage. How crazy is that sage? It's going in. I don't know why I'm going so fast. <laughs> I'm gonna take it down a notch. Being a professional is about, you know, being calm and in control. Okay, sage just went in. White pepper also going in our sausage. I don't really have any explanation for this other than these are flavors that I like and they also make a good breakfast sausage flavor. A lot of salt going in there, darn it. Would a professional do that? No, okay, oh, <laughs> nice. And finally, breakfast sausage, necessity, maple syrup. Dude, this is actually, this is Sporked recommended maple syrup. It's really good. It's called Ecumenac. I don't have the bottle on me, but it's a really good maple syrup. So I'm excited about it. I had a little shot of it earlier. It's real nice. I'm gonna get in there with the hands. Just gonna squeeze up this sausage. Um, yeah, I'm making a breakfast sandwich. It's pretty simple. I'm making my own sausage. I'm gonna do a little spicy ketchup over here after I'm done with this. It's gonna go on a brioche bun with a little cheese, a little egg, and hopefully it's gonna be really good. The last time I did Imposter Chef, it was with Shane. Um, so, you know, that was very low stakes. Shane is dumb. If I am believed to be the imposter, okay, if my dish gets picked as the dish that Jordan thinks is the imposter dish, then I have to, I have to go away. I have to leave. I have to be gone. Um, and I don't want to do that. I want to be here. Um, I don't want to go. I'd have to go like train or study somewhere or like go on a journey of self-discovery and I'm not ready for that. I want to stay and do the cooking show. I want to be silly. That's my, that's what I like to do. So, sausage patty. That was crazy, I did it, I made sausage. Wow, you can do it too at home, how easy is that? Um, I don't know how big my bun is. I looked at it earlier, immediately forgot how big it was. I don't know how big I want my sausage patty to be. Really didn't think this through. Should have thought it more through, but that's something about being a professional is that you gotta be able to think on the fly, okay? You gotta be, you gotta be able to think on the fly, you gotta be able to you know, adapt, improvise, adapt, and overcome. Bear Grylls said that, um, and I trust him. Watched a lot of Man vs. Wild growing up and Man vs. Food, so I feel like I'm pretty well prepared for this moment. That's an awesome size. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure it gets nice and round. Okay, now here's what we have to do here. This is a pro chef move because I don't wanna touch raw pork because I don't like that. So I'm gonna get this glove off my hand without touching it while keeping the sausage in this hand. And then I'm gonna get this butter. Hopefully the pan's hot. Oh, the pan's hot. That's awesome. Get a little butter in this pan and then we're going in. I'm a real chef, ow! 
Uh, ketchup, normal. Heinz tomato. I believe it's organic, pretty big. Pinch of cayenne pepper going in there. Oh, some of it didn't get in there. That's okay, that's how much I wanted in there. Cristal hot sauce. Spicy hot sauce. They're laughing a lot over there. I don't know if it's because I'm funny or if it's because I'm making a fool of myself. <laughs> Tapatio as well, another hot sauce because I'm a spicy guy, so I'm just gonna... Just the right amount. Sausage is cooking. Stir it. Real chef, real chef, real chef, real chef, real chef. I'm a real chef, I'm a real chef, I'm a real chef, I'm a real chef. Another, another squirt of that. This is the thing about cooking is you gotta do stuff, like I said earlier, you gotta do it on the fly. You gotta d improvise, adapt, and overcome. And that's what I'm doing here. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking at home, you're thinking, Trevor, you're doing the most simple cooking ever. You just mixed up meat in a bowl and you're stirring ketchup. How are you this stressed? And to that I'd say, mind your own damn business. This is my process. You think that they needed to be that stressed in the bear? No. He didn't need to be yelling that much. I don't need to be yelling this much. It's a good ketchup. Time to check the sausage. What is they laughing at? I don't think there's anything to laugh at right now, but they're still laughing. That worries me. Nice. Beautiful. <clears throat> Bun and egg time. The last two things I gotta make. I'm buttering up this here griddle. This is gonna be my toasting griddle. So what you do when you toast the bun is you get the butter and then you go like that. <laughs> okay, that's cooking. Egg pan. And Lily, I would like to point out, doesn't believe in me, is a hater, and is seeming to like really not be acting like my friend right now because she's standing right over there holding eggs because she thinks that for whatever reason, I'm incapable of cracking this egg in that pan and cooking it well. So my number one op currently staring me down and I have, I have a lot more to prove now. All right, so no, this is good, this is good. So the key you want, I'm serious. A little crack of pepper on there. A little crack of pep, a little pinch of salt, a little boom. And now we wait for that to cook. And hey, guess what? The fun doesn't stop here because I got all that leftover pork and I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a cool recipe over on the Mythical Society for Mythical Food Week. I'm gonna be doing a little bit more of a dinner time version of this sandwich with a couple extra little fun twists that Ratatouille from Ratatouille would be really proud of. So head over to the Mythical Society to check it out and uh, I'll see you over there. For those of you playing along at home, this is the moment of truth. This is where I decide, this is where I prove that I'm not an imposter, that I'm a real chef, that I'm like the, the rat from Ratatouille. I'm a real chef, okay? This is for all the egos of the world. This is for all the other chefs in the kitchen that didn't think a rat could cook. This is for all of you out there. Yes! cook! It's the whole point of the movie! You can be anything you want to be! You just gotta believe in yourself! The bun's toasting! <laughs> come back to me, come back, just a second. Just a second, then we're gonna do another little clock or the bars and tone thing. I'm just gonna lay the cheese on top. Get it melting. Oh! Real chef, Ratatouille would have done that. I know that's not the rat's name, but Ratatouille would have done that. <laughs> Sausage. Yes. Egg, Morgan, you got this? You want me to get here? Okay, you're gonna follow it? All right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. He's got it, he's got it, he's a pro, he's a pro, he's a pro. Frick, hold on. Morgan, I wasn't ready, I, I wasn't ready. You got, this is good for you. Okay, hold on, hold on, the cheese. The cheese is a factor I wasn't ready for. I'm just kidding, I was ready for it, I'm ready for everything. Hey, going on, you ready for this morning? You ready for this? This shiz is crazy. Fingers. Okay, now, here's what we do, here's what we do. Okay, hold on. Hold the, hold the flipping phone, hold the flipping phone. I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I got so much adrenaline. I got so much adrenaline coursing through my veins. Breakfast sandwiches, they get me hyped up. 
They get me jazzed. Just like the freaking, just like that, the Ratatouille from Ratatouille got that guy jazzed. Ego, the mean guy. Crack a pepper, one last one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Crowning. Boom bada bing. Let's get it. See you in the, in the table, imposter. First off, great news. There's some sort of giant earth mover making a lot of noise that you're probably gonna hear. And for me, it's putting uh, me on edge like I'm in Mad Max 3, the one with Tina Turner in it, the best Mad Max in my opinion. Two, breakfast sandwich was actually a really smart pick by Trevor. Because when I think breakfast sandwich, I think of hangovers. And when I think of hangovers, I think of my ancestors. I've been waking up hungover and I've been craving Jewish deli food. And my grandma from up high is going, Josh, blah, 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 why did you do that to yourself? You know, you got acid reflux problems. And so I'm making a latka salami and egg breakfast sandwich on a Kaiser roll. I think it's really good. I think it's really chefy and I think people are gonna love it. Uh, we got a bunch of potatoes grated into a bowl right here. I'm gonna add a bunch of grated onion. My grandma was giving me her latka recipe and she was like, you have to use Tenement soup mix. That's how she actually sounds. And I tried to go to every like kosher market to find it. Cause I assumed it was some like obscure Jewish brand and then nobody had heard of it. And then I found one old Jewish lady who was like, they stopped making it in 1987. And then I went to my grandma and I told her that. And then I was like, can I use Lipton? Like, what do I use? And she's like, no, you can't make it. I was like, grandma, you, you haven't made lockers in 35 years. They discontinued the sale. It's been, the company's been bankrupt for 30 years. And she's like, well, you can't make it now. But still, we persist. All right, uh, ring it out. Make lockers, you gotta ring out all the juice. You can kind of do a little hair of the dog, save those potato shots for later. And then we're gonna dump this into a bowl. It's actually happened, like as I've gotten older and the hangovers have gotten worse, that's a real thing that happens. I've started craving a lot of deli food and I went to a spot called Marv's and Sherman Oaks just because they were the only Jewish deli that still had liver and onions on the menu. And he was like, my wife tried to get me to take it off because we lose money on all the liver that people don't buy every year. I said, no, I'll die before I take the liver and onions off the menu. So shout out to Marv, you're the hero. Told me about all of his beautiful sons and all of the union jobs they have. You've heard of NBC? Yeah, more. I've heard of NBC. My son works for them. That's great. You've heard of Kaiser Permanente? Yeah, I sure have. My other son works for them. Great, Marv. Cool, we added an egg into that. We added matzo meal. It's gonna soak up some of it. I add a little bit of leavening agent to my latkes. Just keep them nice, tight, and bright in there. We're gonna add a little bit of Schmaltz's rendered chicken fat. That is Jewish liquid gold right there. And now, Miss Vicky's jalapeno potato chips. A little bit of spice, a little bit of crunch, a little bit of everything nice. Unlike Team Money, I'm not cheating and I do not have a small rodent underneath my hat telling me how to cook. All right, I'm gonna mash up these latkes a little bit. I'm gonna get these frying in some hot oil. Potatoes still leach a lot of moisture even after you squeeze them out. I'm gonna try and make sure this just holds together like a nice hash brown patty. I'm gonna try and make this just like a full circle to fit directly inside that. This is like when you go to McDonald's and you put the hash brown in there, but um, this is more like McDonald's a wits, you know? The, the Jewish McDonald's spinoff that never, never took off. You know, people, people weren't buying the uh, the Kugel burger like they used to. Kugel's good. I love Kugel. People are like, is this just mac and cheese with raisins? And I'm like, kinda. It's all they had. Pick <laughs> pickles. Not just a prop in a Seth Rogen movie about Jewish culture, but also, did anybody, wa did anybody watch that? He, he made a movie where he like pickled himself. He was like a, a Jewish guy and he pickles himself and he comes back to life like hundred years later. What I was gonna say, big Jewish jelly staple. I love pickles. I love a little bit of acid in my breakfast sandwiches too, just to cut through all the egginess. So I'm gonna grate some pickles. We're making like a dill pickle aioli here. I'm gonna take the pickle skin and mm. this, this is a treat for me. I'm grate a little bit of garlic. Yeah, a little bit of fresh garlic in breakfast sandwich. A breakfast sandwich is the perfect canvas though, you know? You can add anything you want to it. There's no wrong moves, except for the several that you can potentially make. The garlic grated, pickles, a little bit of fresh dill. This is good stuff. This is my first pitch to the McDonald's Franchisee Association for our new Jewish themed McDonald's out there. Just gonna add some pickles in there. I'll save those pickles for snacking later. I'm gonna hit myself in the crotch trying to find a spoon. Great, iced teaspoon, love that for me. I'm gonna add mayonnaise there. We got a little bit of the vinegar from the pickles. Latkes are, yoink! Just little golden nuggets of deliciousness. Oh, the potato chips in there are gonna be great. Fresh cracked pepper, a lot of it, a lot of it. Bring the rain, bring the rain. I got a lot of self-esteem riding on this. 
I can never be as funny as Trevor. I can never be as tall as T-Money, but God damn it, can I put some eggs in a bun? Just like they do to the deli. God, that noise. I'm gonna I'm gonna run over that. I'm gonna steal an earth mover. We're joy riding around Burbank, baby. We're taking that through all the best Taco Bell drive through. Uh, we are doing this on a plancha like they would at a deli. I'm toasting up a nice poppy seeded Kaiser roll, one of the top two seeds to go on a Kaiser roll. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of oil. We're just spraying that over the plancha. Hebrew National Lean Beef Salami was my nickname in high school. I grew up eating this stuff and it is fantastic. Salami and eggs is like a big deli staple that I feel like not a lot of people know about, but you get a bunch of beef salami on your breakfast sandwich. That's gonna be a good time. Just one to keep. Bring her after. Rock. Eggs. Whisk them up. Okay, salt. Never add salt to your eggs before you cook them. I don't care if it looks in rules in like a deli and breakfast sandwiches. They don't matter none, man. And now we're gonna try and fold this egg into a perfect square, see what happens. <laughs> nope, hold, hold. All right, the salami moisture is preventing the eggs from cooking. And that's all right, no, this is good. We start to scramble them. I love a breakfast sandwich with like a perfect square of egg that just fits in the sandwich, very fast food style. So with black pepper. Take the bun, always wrap it in foil. That way all the flavors sort of steam together. The salami is just, it is tenting. All right, put a lot of aioli on both sides of this. I want this sandwich wet. This is gonna be the wettest sandwich because, because you have a sham wow. You have a latka in the middle soaking up all of the sandwich wet. That's why we do it. This is called being a chef. Look it up. You guys ever think that in Ratatouille, like, uh, he was just kind of going through like a manic episode, you know? Like the rat wasn't there. You know, no one else, this is actually a fact. Nobody else ever sees or interacts with the rat in the movie. Shut up! Except for that guy, I'm just saying, dude. It's like a, you know, he's like in a coma the whole time, basically. Same thing, all right. Um, Other people do see the rat. You haven't seen Nobody the sees the rat, dude, I've seen rat You haven't even seen the movie, I've dude. seen rat tattooing. Literally the whole plot point is that other people see the no, rat. No, nobody else it. ever sees the rat in that whole entire movie. Boom, brownest eggs you've ever seen. All right, I'm uh, like, just kind of circumcised. Nah, that's a real nod to the Jewish heritage. Fantastic, we got some squares of white American cheese here. I put two on, those eggs are already overcooked. That's pretty good for me. Now what I'm gonna do is for snacking. Boom, a little bit of water, a little bit of steam. This is diner style cooking, baby. <laughs> Why are they laughing at me? This is good, okay. Pick up burning hot salami with your hands on there. Latka is gonna go right in the middle. Invert that, oh yes sir, Rito's auto square. Eggs going <laughs> down, Laka flipped over, and it's a little bit more pickle schmear for the boatman, a little bit more pickle schmear for the boatman. You gotta pay the toll, wrap that is, god dang it. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. There you go, and then I'm gonna hand it to you, and I'm not gonna take my hand off until I've told you about all of the union jobs that all my beautiful sons have. Now Isaac, now Isaac, now he went to college, and I told him college is too expensive, but then, but then what he did, he went to a trade school. You ever heard of trade school? He's an electrician, union job. Vegans, I'm sorry, but today we're doing it. We got beef, well it's bacon, but me and you, beef. Is this on? That's why I hate electric stoves. You never get the sizzle, no satisfaction. I'm pissed, I feel like I'm out of Sheridan Inn. This is some thick bacon, I will say. Thick cut. Look how long it gets. Weird, huh? All right, now that our bacon is cooking, aioli, it's an acronym. All oily <laughs> liquid intelligence. <laughs> Here, we got a little bit of Chipotle. Also, if you go to Chipotle and you get hard shell tacos, we need to have a conversation outside. Wazam. So now we're gonna whip in the, uh, whatever I just whipped in. Aioli, minced garlic. That's real. There we go, we're in. So first, you wanna mix some garlic. And the judge isn't in the room, right? No, no, no. Good, good, good. Cause I don't know what I'm doing. When life gives you lemon, make aioli. I feel like aioli is just ran by the government. It's just a pyramid scheme. You add aioli to a burger, now it's $18 all of a sudden. In and out, what, burger's $4. Add aioli, That's a you need a lease for that thing. Got the bacon cooking, the aioli, aiolin. Uh, I went with breakfast sandwich because it's the only thing my dad would cook for us. When my mom was out of town, 5 p.m. breakfast burrito, you know? But he would spin it like a treat and he'd be like, you kids ever wanna have breakfast for dinner? I'm like, yes, it's the seventh day in a row. Can we please go to P.F. Chang's? 
bacon looks like it's almost there. You know, I'm gonna add a little bit of spice. Look at that. Look at that. And I'm a big hot honey guy. Another big upgrade, you can just start selling this, add an extra dollar to a chicken sandwich. You see this on a sandwich? That's a food truck. It smells like Silver Lake. Let's put a little on there. At this point, it's just like a Jamba Juice of flavor. So, we really got everything going in here. I'm gonna get some hot sauce going. Quick one of these. Well, bam, you know? Cool, I'm gonna get some hot sauce. Would you look at that, convenient. All three of my favorites. <laughs> Cholula, staple in the game. I think this is just like, this feels like a nice bottle of whiskey with the wood cap. It feels luxurious. I think that's why I always bought it as a kid. I love that one. Um, Nando's, shout out Nando's, very good. And then this is Erewhon. I'm just taking this one home because this is my form of payment today. And this is probably, probably $47. I've never even tried this, but Erewhon, I don't even know where they get their prices. I think they just throw a number at a board and be like, let's see if these LA idiots will do it. And we will. You guys ready for a little bit of food? Corn, see what I did there? Corn. Can't say the other one. You know, that bottom is not, that bottom is a little, I'm gonna go for the sear. If you like scallops, you'll love my bacon because it is cooked only on the top. I'm not eating this, so if I get food poisoning, not my problem, you know? Gonna finish the bacon, add the hot sauce. I'll see you in a sec. Smell that, it smells like a victory. Look at these bad boys. You can't spell clogged arteries without air fryers. I don't, I mean, these are dense. I just air fried these, uh, these aren't homemade, but for the judges, homemade, you yeah. know? I think I'm gonna do an open face sandwich. You know, convertibles are all the rage, especially in the winter. So I'm gonna go open face sandwich because I don't wanna hide my art. You know, these other chefs, it's like, they're like, oh, it doesn't look good. They're sweeping it under the rug. They put a bun on top. So I'm gonna do open face and I'm gonna garnish it, cheese bottom, egg, bacon, crumbled, a la wa, that's not a word, but a little bit of crumbled, and then uh, garnished with um, avocado. Avocado aioli, I'm just saying, I'm just saying buzzwords. Price is ding, 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 ding. That's that sizzle. I started talking a little smack and the electric grill really started heating up. Yeah, baby. So the egg, you know, a lot of people like a runny egg and I think they're running from something internally. I'm not about a runny egg. So we're gonna plate this. I don't, I like a medium, you know, like, like a valet run. You know when they run for the car? It's like a run, but it's not really. I one of those valet runnies. Yes, yes. I used to have this logic in my head when I had uh, my day job, I'd cook eggs every morning. And if I cracked the egg and the yolk broke, I was like, oh, it's gonna be a bad day. It's gonna be a bad day. That was like my like heads or tails. A little bit of pepper. I went to a place the other day and you order through the phone. There's no waiter waitress. You order through the phone at the restaurant, QR code, somebody drops it off. And then at the end, it asks for the tip. Who am I tipping? Am I tipping the iCloud? I need to see somebody. I need to see this go into somebody's account. I'm gonna put the egg real quick, give it a little sear. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, the bottom of this on there. Crispy bottom, you know? So we're gonna plop this on top. Ready, ready? You're like, oh my God, wow. Wow, 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 double wow. You know what? I'm gonna get absolutely crazy here. If this doesn't work, this was not my idea. But we're gonna add a little, little hot honey on the bottom. And we're gonna let that do a glaze. Cause when sugar gets really hot, it almost turns into like a candy. So we're gonna plop this on top. Crispy, sweet bottom. And that's what I'm gonna call this. Crispy sweet bottom. See, look at that bottom. I don't know, what's the best way to get this angle? Look at that. So now, you know what we're gonna do? I would have put the aioli on under the egg, but I have not the best memory. So we're gonna, <clears throat> you know what? Is there, is there, this is crazy. <laughs> is there a Ziploc bag in here? Yes. I know what I'm doing. I saw this on Cake Boss. <laughs> So what we're gonna do here is a classic trick. This is a classic. Yes. See what you do, uh, you know, I'm not doing anything fancy, I'm just taking my leftovers home, you know? <laughs> my mom was a chef. She writes for a food magazine, so I come from a world of class, just not my dad. My dad is the breakfast burrito aficionado. So, okay, it might be too big of a hole. 
<laughs> that really, you know, mentally it made so, God damn it. Mentally that made so much more sense. The hole was too big. I was going for like a drizzle. This looks like a pigeon flew over it. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, but it's, it's all about presentation. With avocado, anything is possible. I believe George Bush said that. <laughs> so here's what you do. You, it's everything is, you just cover up your mistakes. It's like a Band-Aid. Honestly, this is looking good. Looking good, folks. Looking good. Chips and dip. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the foam part comes in. Do a little bacon tower. Clay bacon, huh? It's a singer. Clay Aiken reference for anybody, anybody who watched American Idol in the early 2000s. <laughs> this is the glaze that I wanted to do with the aioli. And we're just gonna add some to the plate for, uh, I went over the plate, we're overshooting. <laughs> we are fully on the counter. But this is where they get you in Los Angeles, start putting balsamic everywhere. <laughs> That's not bad. The, what did I call it? Anything, sweet bottom, sweet bottom shoddy? What was it? Sweet bottom shoddy. That's not bad. And I know this is bias coming from me, but that is not bad. Welcome Jordan from Spork.com. Hi. Before you, you have three breakfast sandwiches. Please enjoy. Wow. The whole office smells like fish. I was certain it was because of whatever was going on in here, but I guess not. Okay, I'm opening this one first. It's very exciting. I lived in New York for a really long time, so this is giving me feelings of the bodega, which I like. Wow, very moist. It has some kind of meat on it. I actually don't know what kind of meat that is. Um, a hash brown, ooh, maybe garlic aioli, and then scrambled eggs is kind of what it seems like. It smells so good. Mmm, very soft. It's nice, I'm gonna take one more bite because I didn't get any potato, hold on. Saucy, cheesy, really nice. The sauce is a little bit herbaceous. Structurally, not 100% sound, but that's okay. And they did serve it in this foil. I should have kept it in the foil to eat it. So that's on me. Also, if I have poppy seeds in my teeth for the rest of this video, shut up. I see avocado. I see what looks like honey. And, ooh, chipotle aioli. Chipotle aioli, I remember, was like the first time I had <laughs> a feeling of like, whoa, this is what flavor is as a child. Um, I tried it at a Dairy Queen. The egg is nice and soft. It's like kind of jammy, not runny. Mm. Too big. Too big and that's on me. This is delicious. I love the chipotle aioli. The egg is nice and soft. The avocado is perfectly ripe. The bacon is super crispy. I don't know what kind of, this is a biscuit maybe. I like that. I wanna take the taste the biscuit on its own. Um, it could be saltier. Obviously the bacon brings some salt, but especially once you get past that bacon, you get like egg and avocado. And I think the avocado just needs like a little more salt to kick it up, but it's very good. That's not biscuit. <laughs> I don't know what that is. This looks like a hamburger, that's fun. We got an egg, we got some cheese. <laughs> this looks like a hamburger with an egg on it. It looks like ketchup, mayonnaise, egg cheese, burger, bun. Um, the cheese is a little solidified, but that's okay. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> I like that though. Like if I was eating alone, if I wasn't eating on camera, I'd be like, damn, that's sexy. <laughs> or I like a runny, I like a runny yolk. So that is hot. I just wish it wasn't on camera. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on, I didn't get the meat. Mm, that was nice. People are laughing, I don't know why. It's nice. The sausage or hamburger, whatever it is, is very flavorful. I love that the egg is <laughs> squirting and doing its thing. And um, you get ketchup, and I like ketchup. I think ketchup is good with eggs. And I think if you don't think that, that's okay. But I do, and I'm judging this, so I'm into it. Okay. All right, Jordan. So we would like to know which one was your favorite and which you think was made by the imposter chef. Okay. My favorite is this one. 
um, because I think it's simple, but I think it has good flavor, good texture. And I love that runny yolk. I think that this one maybe was made by an imposter chef. All right, Jordan, you were incorrect. Oh the actual dish made by the imposter chef is the one in the middle, and it was made by Trevor Wallace. Hi. Hey, hello. Hi. Thank you for the nice compliment. It was great. It did taste like a biscuit. Unfortunately, it's a hash brown. It's a hash brown. <laughs> but but it's, it's a gluten-free one. I don't wow. approve of it. But you know what? Now that I know that that's gluten-free, that's extremely impressive. Yes. Yeah. I, I would so definitely, much. if I got that at like a gluten-free restaurant, I would be so into it. Oh, yeah. Aioli, hot honey. It's got all the buzzwords <laughs> for Delicious. money. Delicious. I love, yeah, this is SEO optimized yes. in terms <laughs> really of breakfast. Is. What a Coup. What an absolute coup, man. They, uh, yeah, You, I you mean, should have seen him. It was incredible. For winging it, usually my breakfast is protein powder and coffee okay. mixed up and then just kind of thrown back. All right, disgusting. So. Yeah, this is oh, way better than that. It's not good. I'm really proud of you. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah I thought everybody did a good job. What was like <laughs> so these? Were why, like, why am I catching so many strays for this? this sandwich? That's me. I love it. Thank you. And I love you. I know one time I jokingly said I hated you and then I got hate comments for like months. <laughs> um, so I just want to clear the air. I do love you and I love that. I love you too, thank you. It, the bun just looks like it's Memorial Day, like boxers, you know? It, this looks like, I thought you got this from Burger King, but honestly, yeah. it tastes it's delicious. Simple and perfect, okay? You guys got too complicated. That's where you falter. I agree. This one, great. I could have guessed that you made that. It's delicious. <laughs> it's gourmet. There was a meat on it I didn't yeah. recognize. I said, that's Hebrew Josh. National Lean Kosher Salami, just yeah. like me. I knew it, I knew it. But all of them were really, really good. Jordan, thank you so much for your honesty. Thank uh, you. Trevor Wallace, man, you went out there, you absolutely crushed it. Everybody check out his new comedy special, Pterodactyl out on Amazon Prime Video right now. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Of course, man. Come back anytime. You can take the leftovers home. We got a couple Ziploc bags. I those down. We're celebrating Mythical Food Week all week long. Check out new videos every day at mythicalsociety.com.